Welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about which hard drive we tend to use nowadays for doing video editing, and it might surprise you which one we're using. It's uh, very portable, you don't plug it into the wall, it's very fast, and it has a lot of space. So let's jump in. Over the years, we've purchased and used a lot of different hard drives from portable hard drives, external hard drives, internal, M.2 drives, SSD drives, flash media, RAID systems. While all of those are great and have been good at the certain time or for the specific use case, there has been one type of hard drive that we keep buying over and over again because they're just so good. And as technology improves over the years, you get faster speeds, more storage, and it comes at a cheaper cost. So the hard drive we're using the most these days is the rugged uh, hard drives by Lacey. These have been used by professionals for probably at least 10 years, maybe more. This is the five terabyte version. And again, it being so small, it's pretty incredible that five terabytes can fit inside this small space. This is also the latest release. So it supports Thunderbolt 4, Thunderbolt 3, and USB-C. This is compatible with all the latest Apple gear. You can literally just plug it straight into the M1 uh, MacBook Pro or the Mac Studio. And if you didn't know, Apple changed their Thunderbolt 4 and 3 ports to uh, the exact same as USB-C. So very, very, very convenient. And of course, you can always use an adapter to go from USB-C to uh, USB-3 or USB-2 if uh, your computer doesn't have a USB-C port. This one, if you accidentally drop it, you're likely not to damage it. They're very, very reliable and they have this unique design. So it comes with sort of this like foam rubber insert that protects the hard drive. Unlike the older uh, hard drives that are much larger and if you drop them from like a foot off the ground, they break. We actually dropped one off one of our desks one time. Unfortunately, we lost all the footage in it. We literally got quoted thousands of dollars to try to repair it and get the footage off. It wasn't really worth it for the project we were working on. They were just personal projects, so it wasn't related to a client. I guess we got lucky in that case, but we still did lose that footage. We didn't want to spend that money. If we were using this hard drive instead, that would not have happened. We literally would have just picked it up off the ground plugged it in and started editing again. So that alone is a huge deal. It's a huge peace of mind, especially if you're working on important projects. Now, another amazing thing with these drives that is so convenient is the fact that you don't have to plug this into the wall to get power. It has one cable that attaches to it that goes right into your computer and that's where it gets its power from. The fact that you don't need to carry around this bulky power pack thing that goes into the wall and you don't need to have outlets around you if you're working on a laptop, for example, it is is very, very convenient. Now I will say you'll probably get slower speeds out of it and your editing experience might not be as efficient if you're working off a laptop and you don't have your laptop plugged in. But again, having one plugged in, just your laptop, this not being plugged in, just only the, the transfer cable is amazing. Honestly, that alone is just worth getting these drives. This is a fast drive to work off of, and that's because of the modern connectivity that it has, which is a USB-C or Thunderbolt 3, Thunderbolt 4, because that means, you know, your transfer speeds are gonna be faster and the editing you do is also gonna be uh, streamlined. Going back several years, these used to only be like 500 gigabytes or one terabyte, and they were very expensive. Nowadays, this five terabyte drive was I think 280 bucks or around 200 bucks US. That's a very good deal for five terabytes. You don't need to plug it into the wall. It's super portable and super safe. Again, if you drop it, it's not gonna break. So practically speaking, five terabytes is plenty of room. It's probably good for several projects or at least one large project. And that means if you're working on an M1 MacBook Pro, for example, you don't need any outlets around. You can just plug this right into the laptop. You can work out of a car, on an airplane, on a beach, or anywhere else where you don't have anywhere to plug in. Impressive. So who would I recommend to buy these hard drives? Honestly, I would say pretty much anyone who needs an external hard drive, these are amazing because of how safe they are. You know they're not gonna get damaged if you drop it and you can just toss it in your bag lightly, but you can put it in your bag. So you don't need like an extra case to carry like the larger traditional hard drives. And yeah, because you don't have to baby these everywhere you go, it's uh, that extra peace of mind. So I'd pretty much recommend these to anybody. This thing is a killer deal. I would highly recommend it. And by the way, this isn't a sponsored video. We just really like these hard drives. So we'll leave a link in the description um, if you do want to get one yourself. They do sell different sizes, but I really think the five turbites is the best deal because it's more than enough for really serious editors 
but it's also enough to keep other types of files beyond you know, your video projects. If you care a lot about the look and feel or the design of your editing station, like where you do your editing, I would say this is a great match for that type of uh, person. It's very clean. You don't need to have that second cable to power it. It can uh, just literally sit on top of, let's say, the Mac Studio or behind it. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the color orange. I think it does stand out on a desk. So it would be nice to have them in different colors, but as far as I can tell, they only are offered in orange. So for me, since I'd prefer a more muted, darker color, I put this bright orange hard drive uh, behind something or under the desk. One last thing I'll say is we've had lots of Western Digital and Seagate drives. Now, I'm not exactly sure who Lacey uses for their internal drives, whether they make it themselves, but they probably use like, you know, Seagate. But regardless, we have not had any of these fail on us where we have had the other two that I just mentioned uh, fail on us over the years. And that is something that takes up sort of space in your brain as you're thinking and trying to decide which to use. So for me, of course, this is gonna be the one that I will choose to use because it's reliable. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful on which hard drives we use. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos from us in the future. We have over 120 filmmaking tutorials on the channel that you can learn from, so definitely subscribe if that's something you're into. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.